depth chart. So what do you expect from this Nevada defense? Uh, you know what? They, they show a tremendous amount of discipline in what they do. Um, they're going to stick to their plan. They're really tough against the run. Done a great job uh, in last year really stopping the run. And they're going to contest every single ball that's thrown in the air. Uh, so I expect our guys to go out there and compete for the football. And they're going to do the same thing. So um, that's the expectation. This, this defense is disciplined. They, they do what they're coached to do. And uh, they're going to come out ready to go. Uh, and they're going to be fired up. You know, uh, with us coming to their place, their opening home game at their place, I expect them to be flying around and, and, and willing to hit people. And uh, that's one thing they did a great job of last year. Hey, Elijah talked about how you may play a little bit more tempo on offense. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, you know what? Uh, we, that's typically who we are as a football team. That's just kind of our nature as we try to get lined up very fast and, and, and put a little pressure on as, as much as we can. Um, uh, you're on offense, you're trying to really dictate the tempo of the game. So, and, and the defense is, you want them to be the ones on the defense that are responding to what you're doing. So, uh, we're going to do a little bit of that. We've been practicing it all, all camp. So, the guys, uh, you know, they're, they're used to it. So, we'll continue with that flavor of the year. Just the Kind of the process of this first game, like when, as coaches and as players, when you start really looking at film of your first game, in this case, Nevada, like are you looking at June, July, or like how far back are you guys starting to really? As ramp coaches, up as, we've probably been preparing for Nevada since the spring, so um, you start doing some preparation from them all the way back in spring. You have periods dedicated to to that uh, to, to that opponent early on in spring, all the way through uh, until the end. So. You, a lot of times, you know, the whole idea of just preparing for a team, you know, you're really trying to figure out which concepts that you run and which ones are, are going to work well against that particular team. So, you know, you're not always just installing new stuff just because you're playing a new team. No, you, you, some of your base stuff, you're going to use it. But, but there are a few wrinkles and stuff that you try to put together and see what works against them and their schemes. But we've been preparing for them since the spring ball, you know, and, you know, probably – Day three of camp, again, reintroducing the guys to, to Nevada. At what point do you bring the players into that process in the summer? First, uh, letting them watch film on Nevada and giving them what no they question. May see. Spring ball, uh, we, we, you know, do cut ups for them. So, you know, we'll have a play and have the defense lined up and what defense we may think they might be in. And then we'll actually show a cut up from their actual game in that same particular defense. Uh, so it'll be, the film will be cut up in that nature. So, hey, they see us running it, they see their their defense. See us run the play, see their defense. So uh, we want to give them the best visual because not all the time can the scout guys play exactly how the corner's going to play, exactly how the DN's going to play, exactly how the linebacker's going to fill the gaps. You know, they may not be able to, you know, replicate that in practice, so we want to make sure they can see that. So we're doing that all the way back in spring ball. Hey, David Bell is second team receiver, Milton Wright, second team. Um, David in particular has missed a lot of camp, but you feel he's done enough to be on the two deep, and obviously he looks like he's going to play Friday night in Reno. There's no question about it. David Bell will be in the game on on Friday early, too. So it, it, won't, it ain't going to take all day. Uh, he'll be in there early in the game. Um, so it, the good part about it is you got some guys that have some veteran, you know, I guess they've been here long enough. Ahmad really hasn't played a ton. You know, Sparks has had a lot of experience. So those guys know what the expectation is what the expectations are and uh and they're going to execute pretty much the playbook the way that it's 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 supposed to be executed you know those guys you know milton david they bring a little extra oomph you know at times to the offense and kind of we we can see what their capabilities are very quickly you know from the moment that they got on the field here so um no, I, I don't reward guys for missing practice. So, I mean, unfortunately, David did miss those practices. And so um, he, he's going to run with the second team. But like I said, him and Milton, they'll be in there really early. What about TJ Sheffield? He's been spectacular. Um, Can we see him Friday? He's been everything that I've wanted him to be. I, I don't know that we're going to see him Friday. I, I don't know for sure. Uh, right now, uh, you know, we got to – a, a guy, some dude by the name of Rondell Moore, who plays his position. So, you know, that, that kind of 
you know, leads itself, and, and Jackson Anthrop has been the Swiss Army knife that we expect him to be all the time. You, you can put him anywhere on the field, and he does his job. So um, that is making it a little tougher for him to get on the field right now. But I'll tell you what, you know, he's been practicing on the outside some at Z and at X. And you guys know, just like I know, you know, most teams don't make it through a full season all the way healthy. So that's why I got TJ working around everywhere, and uh, he's picking it up. I mean, he's been – He's been spectacular. He's been doing a great job. I mean, catching the ball very well, you know, running a great route. I mean, he's been doing a great job. I mean, if he's been that spectacular, how hard it is, how hard is it to keep him off the field then? Exactly. And no <laughs> doubt about it. We as coaches, you know, we kind of start to chirp a little bit at each other. And, you know, TJ making plays. And here's Coach Barclay, TJ Sheffield, <laughs> TJ Sheffield. So, you know, we as coaches are chirping at each other as the, our guys are starting to do well and kind of reminding each other that, hey, that kid's doing really good. Keep your eye out on him. So, you know, like I said, TJ great personality great kid he understands the situation we've talked about it we sat down in my office and he he gets it so um there's no you know animosity with that he he's he's like coach when you need me i'm ready to rock and roll so he's ready the so six to eight guys can play receiver i would i would expect six to seven guys okay. probably at receiver um in this game so we're gonna <laughs> rotate them pretty well just so that we can uh, try to make sure they're staying fresh um and this is pretty typical of what we've done uh, in in the past. Um, when we have enough guys who know what they're doing and can execute it at, at a high level, then we'll try to play six guys and I'll full rotate a uh, full group um, on a series and whatnot. So um, that that is something that we're likely going to look into.